Hi, so I'm just going to share a Python tip with you today in which we're going to summarize uh, a data set which has dates and values and we're going to summarize it by year. So for example, I have this file here which has dividends for a stock that I want to invest in and as you can see there are different dates and there are different dividend amounts around those dates going all the way back to 1996. Now what I want is basically a summation in which I just get the year and the total of all the dividends in that year. <clears throat> so how do we do it with Python? Let's find. So I'm going to start by importing pandas, which is the library that I'm going to use. So import pandas as pd. Next, I'm going to import the uh, CSV file, which contains the data set. So for that, I'm just going to import it into a variable called da for data frame. And data frame is going to be equal to pd dot read csv. So this is the built-in pandas function. Very, very handy. And with this, I'm just going to read this file right here. And just to make sure that it's in already, I'm just going to print it out without doing anything else. And if I just go here and yeah, the data is in. <clears throat> it's the same data set that we have in our uh, CSV file. Notice that the dates have been imported just as uh, they were in the CSV file. In fact, they have been imported as string objects. And the first thing to do is to convert them into proper pandas date time objects. So to do that, we are gonna use the uh, convert to date time function. Basically, we are gonna take this uh, particular column, df.date, and we're gonna set it equal to pd for pandas dot to date time. And the arguments, the first one is gonna be the input column, which is the same, df.date, because this is the one that we wanna convert from. And then we have something called the format. And the format has to be chosen carefully based upon the format that you have in your file. And I'll just type it out first. So I'm gonna use uh, <clears throat> b and uh, D and then comma and then capital Y. And that's because B stands for month, D stands for a month with uh, three letters, F-E-B in this case, for example. Uh, D stands for date and capital Y stands for four digit year. Now there are different formats available for this and so you'll have to customize this based upon the type of uh, or the format of the data that you have in your CSV or input file. And all the formats are available here. I'm going to leave a link below. This is Python documentation. And so you can see uh, the B that I used, month as local as abbreviated name. This is what I was just using, right? So make sure that you have the right format. And if you do it right, and if I run it again, this time, the output is the same. But this time, as you can see, I don't get the months as I got in the last run. I get them this time as, uh, you know, proper date time objects of pandas. And so finally, we have it in the right format. Now let's just summarize it by year. So we're going to store the results in a new data frame. I'm going to call it df2. And this time, we are going to start off with the previous data frame df. But this time, we're going to use the group by statement, right? So the group by basically uh, lets us uh, group a data frame on a certain column. And I'll just show you how. So we're going to group it by the year. So the year is contained in the date column. So that's what the starting point is, df.date. But not the entire date. Instead, we say dt dot to uh, period and the period that we are interested in is y. So what this will do is it'll start off with the date column like this and then because of this it's going to extract the year from it and group by that uh, particular element of that date. And for each unique year that it finds, what do we want to display in the next column? We want to display the dividend, right? So we just give it that name over here, dividend, but not just the dividend itself, we want the sum of the dividend for all of those uh, values in that particular year. So we're gonna do sum and like so. And this time let's print out this new data frame, df2, and let's see what it looks like. So just run it over here. And if I've done it properly, you should get, there you go. So you got the years, 1996, 7.5, and so it's a nice clean output, just one uh, particular row per year, and all the values uh, in that year have been summed properly, right? So that is basically done. But uh, notice one thing, just one final touch, that the second column does not have a heading. And uh, if you wanna use this uh, DF2 data frame for further uh, you know, uh, processing, then you will need, uh, then you will want basically a heading or a column uh, title for it. To do that, you just have to add one more thing to it, it's called uh, reset index. So reset underscore index. And if I do it like this and I run it again, uh, this time you get the uh, yearly data and you also get the heading. So that's all there is to it, right? Literally a few lines of code. And once you have the script in your library, anytime you have, uh, you know, the, this type of data, you can just go ahead and run it and get the yearly summary. Uh, see you guys later.